Hi, I'm Garrett from Thor Motor Coach and here to take you through the Tiburon and Delano Mercedes Sprinters. These are our flagship Mercedes Sprinters. They're built on the newly redesigned Mercedes Sprinter chassis, which houses a three liter V6 turbo diesel engine and a new seven speed transmission. So when it comes to ride and drive, this is gonna be one of the most comfortable rides that we offer. Um, in the front, you are gonna get a redesigned headlamp as well, you're gonna have your fog lights in the front and then some protection for the paint um, a diamond shield protection up there as well. Going down the side here, you are going to have heated and power adjustable side view mirrors. And you are going to have a second mirror here so that way you can see down the side of the motorhome much easier. You also have a step up to make getting in the cab a lot easier. But a real cool uh, highlight to talk about is this one piece fiberglass front cap. It's one piece molded from passenger side wing wall to the top over to the driver's side wing wall. So a lot less seams because there are no seams all around this front cap area that need more extra maintenance. So a lot easier in that sense. But you'll notice this exterior construction, it's got a full body automotive Sickens paint. Same paint you're seeing on a lot of luxury vehicles on the market right now. Um, you have multiple paint options and the paint does come standard. Now, a few things to point out, you're gonna get all of our high end trim options. So you get the frameless windows on the side here. So no seams that are going to be exposed to the elements, the rain, the UV damage needing to be replaced. They're all hidden underneath the windows here. You can have these open in the rain. They are an awning style windows. So they open out. It also gives it a nice aesthetic look on the side profile. Now going down the side here, one thing you're going to notice is down below your belt line here, everything is aluminum. All your baggage doors are slam latch and made of aluminum, so much better quality. You're also going to have all Rotocast storage compartments. So all your storage compartments are gonna be made out of a Rotocast plastic, which is going to eliminate any mold, mildew, or rust. If you got muddy hiking boots, you can throw it in here. At the end of your trip, you can wash it out with a garden hose. You're gonna have drain holes in all your bays. Um, also, all of our baggage doors are gonna be lit with LED lighting. One touch through the controls, they will all turn on, and they are in a motion sensor, so if you forget you have them on, or a time sensor, my apologies, they will shut off automatically. Also, you are gonna get larger bulb seals around all of the baggage bays as well. So that way it's gonna limit any water getting in here if you do have towels or something you wanna keep dry. But you can see you got your freshwater tank right here. That's gonna be elevated above the belt line, fully enclosed and heated. Um, the farther we go down, right here we're gonna have 110 power outlets. So that's gonna give you extra power you got a cell phone and outside appliance you want hooked up out here. And then this right here, this is going to be the exhaust for your furnace. This furnace right here, one thing, just take note, this will be hot when it is on, so you don't want to be leaning on it and get burned by it. Um, but also, you get two wheels on the back end. You do have a valve stem extender for that inside tire, so that way you can fill up and check the tire pressure of that inside tire. Also, one thing to always do is maintain your tire pressure. You always want to stay up to date on that. So that way you prolong the lifespan of the tires themselves. One other note on construction. It is a fiberglass exterior that is vacuum bonded and laminated onto the aluminum structure. Fully insulated with a high density block foam insulation. You do have an aluminum trust roof and you have a TPO, TPO roofing material that is thermo polyolefin. It is non-porous, UV resistant, so it does not need coating and requires no more maintenance than a fiberglass roof. Also, another thing to point out is you can fully control this motorhome from your cell phone. There's an app you can download called the Vega Touch Mira app, which allows you um, to control basic functions like your lights, your ACs, your slides, your awnings. So right here, I got the app out. I'm gonna get that awning out with one touch of a button. So that way, if you got a tree out here, or you're parked at a campsite, you got another camper out here, you can make sure you don't hit it. But a cool thing on this awning is on the front end, it does have a motion sensor. So if you leave it out and you get a large gust of wind and that awning moves, it'll retract back in automatically, no problems there. You can also adjust the pitch on this awning, just take it to any Thor certified factory technician, they can adjust the pitch on it. But you also get LED lighting against the motorhome as well. So one touch here, all your lights go on. And you also get lights in the cargo bays which I talked about earlier. So on the back here, you are gonna have more storage here. And you're gonna notice you do have an LP quick neck for a gas grill that goes directly to your main LP tank. Um, it does have a regulator on it. So if you have a gas grill or any other LP appliance that has a regulator on it, 
and you're not getting as strong as a flow of propane, just remove the regulator on your gas grill and that way you get a stronger flow of LP and just use this regulator here. Now, these come standard with the stabilizer jacks. That's just gonna keep the motorhome from rocking back and forth. But you're also gonna get the option to get a four point hydraulic leveling system. One touch, it's gonna fully level the motorhome. You have a steel foundation on this. It's fully leveled at Moride. It's guaranteed no more than an eighth of an inch of variance from any two points. So that way it guarantees our flooring flat and level, which creates a nice tight box. Now on the back side here, you're gonna see your one piece bumper. This is gonna have all LED lighting. So you get LED brake lights as well as LED reverse lights that you're gonna see right there. But you got a ladder going up to your roof, not so you can have a patio up on the roof, but so you can go up on there, check and do your yearly maintenance, make sure your seals are all good and clear. Um, it's a fully walkable roof, aluminum truss, 15 inches off the center. Um, but you're gonna notice here, you do have a 5,000 pound trailer hitch. Um, looking at actual towing capacities, when you take your gross combined weight rating and subtract your gross vehicle weight rating, you're actually gonna get around 4,250 pounds of actual towing capacity. You are gonna get a seven pin connector right here for a brake system. So really easy, it's just plug and play, you go right there. But another thing to point out, you got a 5,000 pound hitch, but you have a 500 pound tongue rating. So you wanna remember is you don't wanna exceed that tongue rating. Because when you, what that does is it translates to the weight that's directly over your rear axle. And that's all the weight that's over that rear axle. So you just don't wanna go over that weight, just something to always keep in mind um, when you are towing. Also, up top, you are gonna have a rear view camera that is mounted up top. It is displayed through a rear view mirror up on the front cab of the chassis itself. So it gives you a great wide angle view of everything back here and you can keep it on when you are towing going down the road as well. Real quick, I wanna give you a little preview of how the slide operation works. You can control this through the inside on the control panel or on the Vega Touch mirror app on your smartphone. So I can come out here um, right now I'm plugged into 30 amp service, so I got full power to get the slide out. And one thing you want to remember is you always want full power getting the slide in or out. So you don't want the generator on or be plugged in. So right here, all I'm going to do is get that slide in. So one touch on the controls, the slide's going to go in. Where this is convenient is if you're at a campsite and you're parked real close to your neighbor or a tree or a um, picnic table, you can get your slide out, you can stand right side by side with it and make sure you don't hit anything. So real important just in the safety of your motorhome. And when you are operating the slide, you wanna make sure you get it fully out and fully in. If you ever stop halfway, just resynchronize the motors by pressing the extend and retract button six times. And when you hold it on the sixth, it will fully extend the motors and the motors will resynchronize getting back in line with each other. Also, you wanna hold the button another three to four seconds after you get the slide fully extended or retracted, just to make sure the slide is fully extended or retracted. Now that the slide is in, a few things down the side here. This is gonna be your wet bay. So this wet bay here features a few different items. You are gonna have your Nautilus system right here. So doing all of your um, sanitizing, your winterization, um, connecting to city water, flushing your black tank, that's all done right here. It actually gives you a nice display of how the adjustments should be located. Also, you're gonna have your city water connection here, um, winterizing hose connection, your satellite connections right there for your cable, um, but also you do have a storage area for your sewer hose. Now, what's nice is you got a place for your sewer hose, but you do have an outside shower right here. So when you are dumping your tanks, you can turn on the hot water, clean off that um, nasty sewer hose, and then put it away nice and clean. So it's very convenient in that sense. Now, when you are dumping your tanks, your sewer hose is located right here. So I'll open that up again, and you'll see you just connect your hose right here. You got a black and a gray knife valve. Blacks for your black tank, grays for your gray tank. When you want to dump, hook up your hose, pull your black, that's gonna be your toilet water. And then once that's drained, pull your gray, that's gonna be your wastewater, toilets or that. Uh, showers, sinks, things of that nature. And when it's all done, push it in, push it in, you're good to go. Also, you are gonna have your generator exhaust on the non-camping side, so that way you don't get any fumes on your campsite if you do have the generator running. Right in this area here, you are gonna have some more finished off storage, nice vinyl finish, so that way if you just got quick grocery access, you wanna put some things away, some golf clubs, you got some nice storage here. 
Now, you do have 30 amp connection right here. We, you can see we are plugged in right now. That's gonna power everything on the inside when you are plugged in. So all your um, accessories on the inside, the outlets, the ACs, everything can operate when you are plugged in. You do see you got more storage right here. Nice finished off storage. And then also, a lot of storage up in this front area, but one really nice thing to point out is you can see your freshwater tank drain right there. That's your low point drain. That's that white pipe with that blue nozzle on it. It's a one inch freshwater tank drain. So one twist of that, it's gonna dump your tanks very, very quick. So it's much more convenient in that sense. Also, uh, you can see your LED lighting in there as well. If we go farther forward, you are gonna see your LP tank. So you do get your propane tank up here and you're gonna notice this does have a manual shutoff valve. So when you are not using this, um, you can just shut it off or whenever you are going to fill up the vehicle with gasoline, you're going up to the uh, fuel pump, shut off the gas valve. So that way you don't run into any sparks or any situations in that manner. The first time you go to fill this up with propane, you can fill this up at any propane filling station, uh, but just purge the air out of it. Then you can go put the propane in, very simple procedure. Right here, this is going to be your Girard third generation tankless water heater. It's an on-demand water heater. Um, it uses a third less LP than a lot of other models out there. You can see your exhaust right here and how this really works. You turn this button on right here and then you have a module in your bathroom where you can actually set the temperature to the desired temperature that you want and that way you get a more satisfactory uh, shower experience, uh, sink experience. You can see up here on the driver's side, this is gonna be your fuel fill. So you open the door right here, and that's how you're going to put fuel in the vehicle itself. Also, you get uh, more paint protection on the side wing wall here as well. Nice step up going into the cab, and awning toppers do come standard over every slide out. Now that we're inside the cab, a few things to go over is this chassis got redesigned on the 2019 model year, now transitioning into the 20 model year. There's still a lot of things to go over. You do get a keyless fob, so that way to start the vehicle, just have to have the fob on you, have it in your pocket, press the brake button, press the brake, and then hit the ignition, and then the vehicle will start right back up. Now, inside the cab itself, you get a ton of features to go over. Um, first is you are going to have Mercedes advanced safety package, which is going to include your lane assist, adaptive cruise control, auto emergency braking. You are going to get the auto headlights. Um, all part of that Mercedes package makes you drive a little more comfortable. Cars nowadays are getting all out of those features standard. So going to a motorhome, you want to have those same features that you have in your vehicle at home. Now, um, what's also sharp going on the side here is you have auto headlights. So you don't have to worry about adjusting your lights if it is night. Just put on auto, it'll automatically switch over um, when it does get dark out. Um, you do get your fog lights there and you can adjust the brightness on everything inside the chassis. And then also on the steering wheel here, you're gonna have your cruise control functions, your, you can adjust your um, adaptive cruise control as well with set your cruise, you got your home button here. But it, it gets very techy on the inside. You got an LED gauge cluster right here and then you do have the 10.25 inch MBUX system. Now this is Mercedes-Benz um, advanced system. What this really does is this is gonna have your navigation, it's gonna have your radio, your music, your info. It's gonna have a lot of different features on it. It's all touchscreen, just like an iPad at home. So very easy to maneuver. Uh, the navigation is very intuitive. You just move it around. Um, you can also tell it where you wanna go and I'll show you how that works in a second. But what's really nice is you can actually pull up your um, operator's manual right here. You don't have to carry the book along, wrong, along with you. You can just access it, very simple. So a nice system to have, but also you can actually talk to it. So you can just say, Mercedes, how can I help you? and it's gonna reply back to you, how can she help you? And you can just say, take me to here, take me to there, play this song, call this person. It's very easy to do. Uh, but also you, are, you can have your settings page and that's gonna go over all your safety features. So you can see um, the traffic sign assist. So it's actually gonna pick up traffic signs and display it on your gauge cluster, which is pretty convenient if you do miss something. Active lane keeping assist, active brake assist, the attention assist, and you can adjust the temperament of all those settings right in here. You can also control different settings with your locks, your lights, um, and your system as well. So it's, you can do a lot of things up here, but mostly just being able to plug in your phone, 
have your phone up here and or do it by Bluetooth, it's, it's very convenient to have. And if you don't like the touch screen, you do have manual push buttons down below. So you can go straight to your telephone, straight to your maps, your radio, go back to the home screen, and then your safety features right there. Also, you have an actual volume control right here, so you can adjust the volume of everything. Um, and also, your climate controls are down below as well. So you can adjust your um, climate as well with the blowers right there. You've got your hazard lights, so a lot of functions to go over. But one thing that's kind of crazy is they put a ton of uh, cup holders in here. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cup holders. Why? I have no idea, but it's, I mean, it's pretty cool. Um, also, up top here, you are going to have more plugs for micro USBs, and then you do get wireless charging for a cell phone. So, if you don't want to worry about cords, you can just connect the Bluetooth, put your phone right up here, and it's going to actually charge your phone without any wires attached, which is very convenient. Right here, this is going to display your rear view camera while you're driving down the road. Very nice to have because you're used to this for your rear view mirror. You're going to be very, um, it's going to be nice to have this. It's more familiar. But going back to the steering wheel a little bit, there's a lot of functions to talk about. You get two little black squares right here. The left square controls the instrument panel on your gauge cluster. The right square manages the uh, MBUX system. Now they're touch pads. All you have to do is slide your finger across and you can actually switch to different functions. And same thing with this system. And there's a home button, so you can go back to your home screen. You can check your um, engine particulate filter. You can check your depth level. You can check um, your driver assist right here. Or if you want to switch to over here, go back to your home screen, navigate through the system. You have a back button there as well. If you'd rather tell it what to do, you can press this button up and it'll actually allow you to talk to it without having to say the name or make a call, end a call, and you control the volume from the steering wheel as well. Now they also changed the shifter. The shifter on the 2018 older models used to be right down here. We're kind of getting in the way of your knee. The shifter is now located right up here, which is much more convenient. You got your wipers on the left side here. Um, and then going down on the doors, you are gonna get power adjustable driver and passenger seats. You also are gonna get heated seats. What motorhomes have heated seats? Not many at all. So a very nice feature to have, especially in the winter months. Uh, just have a nice heated seat. Uh, but you are gonna have power adjust adjustments on your mirrors located on the driver door. But one thing I wanna point out is these seats do swivel around, adding to the living area. And what a lot of people do is they're gonna have two drivers, your main driver, your secondary driver. And because you get three keys, there's memories for each key. Key one, be for your main driver. Key two, be for your secondary driver. Then key three, you could set that so that way when this seat is all the way forward, then you can swivel it around. So you can set the adjustment for key three all the way forward. So that way it's like, okay, time to make this a living area. Press one button, seat moves forward, swivel it around. Just makes it more convenient. Um, but you also get nice blowers right here for your AC. Um, and it's just very, very easy to maneuver. You also get the telescoping steering wheel right here. So that way you can adjust, adjust it to however needed. And you also are gonna get the added leg extension right here to give you, if you have longer legs, a little more support right there. Now, one other thing I wanna point out is safety. So you do get driver and passenger airbags, but Mercedes also added in the side curtain airbags right there and right there, adding to the safety inside the motorhome. Um, these seats are extremely comfortable. So for long trips, this is really, really made for a long trip going across the country. So one thing I wanna point out is you, your chassis battery is actually located underneath the driver's seat. So one thing you wanna do when you are done for the season is you wanna disconnect that chassis battery so that way you have a healthy battery when you go into the next season. So behind the little panel down here by your right foot, just remove that panel and you can actually pull out the disconnect from the chassis battery. That way you don't run into a dead battery by the time you use it next year. Now that we're on the inside of the motorhome, the first thing that stands out with all the customers is this front overhead bunk area. It is a tri-fold, so this just folds up when you don't want to use it and you have a ladder to attach it right here. But the biggest thing is that automotive windshield up front. That's going to allow a lot of natural light coming into the motorhome itself, kind of eliminating that claustrophobic feeling you generally get on something 25 feet. So you get a great view up there, but also you get the side view windows up there as well to get more light in here, but it gives you a great look of the outside and you do have a power shade that goes down as well to close that off but if you're at an event you're at a beautiful campsite a mountain base you can either wake up in the morning have your coffee have a great view in front of you um, and still get that natural light in then when it gets hot out just close it off nice and simple 
Um, but you do get the passenger, driver, driver, passenger and driver seats that do swivel around, so that way you can have more seating. And you do get the booster seats that go on top of the driver and passenger seats, so that way you can sit up at eye level with whoever you are with. Um, also, right here, this is your ladder, of course, but you do get USB charging ports and nice netting, so you can put your smartphone right here. But you can charge your phone, got nice USB plugs there. Now, going to your main eating area, this is going to be your dinette. So this is when you have breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Also, if you want to get some work done um, while you're traveling, you can do all that right here. And you do get seat belts on both sides here, so nice seat belts. Uh, but this does turn into a bed at night. Just one turn of this handle right here, this table drops down, and then you get the uh, cushions that go on top of that, completing off the bed area. And you do have extensions right here. This isn't a seat, but it is a seat back uh, leg cushion, so that way you can sit back, keep your feet up, and you can watch and get a good viewing angle of the TV. So really convenient to have that, and you do get 110 outlets underneath the dinette as well. But up top here, you're going to notice we have a Euro-style interior. We really want to go for that new modern look, and this is what everybody wants right now. Now, this is going to be our luxury gray cabinetry. You do have a Miami Modern, which is your lighter color, uh, but this is a techno-form cabinetry. It's Italian-made. It's actually shipped over from Italy. Um, so it's got a honeycomb interior, but it's very lightweight and gives you a nice soft closed look too, so it's never going to slam on you. But Technoform does great with their metal accenting, but these cabinetry just looks phenomenal. And you're going to notice all of our cabinetry is lined with LED, lining over, LED lighting over the top to give you a good aesthetic look. And you are going to have the core around every window as well. And those windows do open, so that way you can get some nice airflow inside of the motorhome. Now, going to the kitchen area, what are you going to notice? You're going to have a lot of counter space. So you get the nice countertops right here, and you're also going to get the Dometic two gas burner. So you got the sparker right here to ignite it, and you can adjust each burner independently right here. Um, also, right below that, you are going to have a high point convection microwave. So that does everything an oven does in a smaller space, giving you more cabinetry on the interior here. Up top here, you are going to have a glass backsplash with lighting, as well with another glass backsplash with an LED light strip to give you a nice look, um, but also keep any cooking debris away from your walls here and make it easier to clean. But you're going to notice you do get a lot of storage space on top and below. So I'll pull out drawers and then you are going to get four more drawers right here. And these are nice good sized drawers for any cooking utensils you might have. Also, your TV is located right here, but maybe you want a different viewing angle. You can open this TV up and it comes out so that way you can change angles if you're sitting in the front driver and passenger seats. And then you can open it all the way up, and then you get additional storage behind this as well. Also, if you have a PlayStation, Xbox, something you want to throw in there, you can plug it right in behind the TV, make it nice and simple. Also, right here, you're going to have more storage, so more cabinetry space up top. And then you do get the nice storage down below the sink. You do have your trash can space right there. All of your piping and everything is accessible behind here. Now, in the kitchen space as well, you are going to have a deep stainless steel bowl sink. So that's going to give you a lot of space to clean your dishes um, and do everything you need to do because you do have the adjustable faucet with the retractable gooseneck that is right there with hot and cold adjustments that you see. And you do have the privacy curtains that you see right here and that's in everywhere in the motorhome so that way at night you can close all the privacy shades, give yourself some privacy or if it's a hot day and you want to eliminate that sunlight, put those shades down and it'll keep the coach nice and cool. Now, the refrigerator is a gas electric refrigerator, so you can choose which option you want. Uh, it's very efficient, but what you're going to notice it is an Oracle refrigerator, but you have the refrigerator and you have the freezer here. So, there's a lot of space to put whatever you need while you're on the road here. Also, more storage on top of the refrigerator as well. Our high end sprinters come standard with a 13.5 BTU roof air conditioner. It's a low profile roof air conditioner, but you can upgrade it to the 15.0 with a heat pump. So you got both options available if you want. Um, now, going to the actual sleeping area itself, what this floor plan has is a Murphy bed. Um, this is the 24FB, so all, to make your bed, it's very simple. You do have a couch right here, so that way it adds more to the living space. But when it is time to go to bed, take off the back cushions, you open up the underneath storage, you can throw it right underneath there. You can throw it on the dinette, wherever you want to put it. This is just nice storage. Put that down. And then you are going to have a Ural Loft uh, button. You have a key you turn to the on position. Put the bed down. Put it about halfway.
put the bracket out, fold it down, put it together. And just like that, your bed is made. So you get a nice, large walk around sleeping area. And you get a uh, window on the side of the bed so that way you can wake up and see your campsite and get some fresh air in there as well. But you're gonna notice underneath the bed, you are gonna have this leaf spring design to give you some extra cushion, but you're also gonna notice is it is going to give you uh, more airflow underneath the bed so it's not as hot. And you are gonna have a fan above the bed to give you more air if you don't wanna run the ACs at night. And then on the other side of the bed, you are gonna have a 12 volt 110 and USB outlets. This has a 1000 watt inverter, which is gonna make those outlets hot. So if you have a CPAP machine or something you wanna plug in, plug it in right there, run your inverter, very simple, you got some power. Now to put it up, same operation, put it halfway up, move this bracket down, put it up, now your bed is made. Just need to put the back cushions back in place and you're good to go. So in the bathroom itself, you are gonna have a toilet with a foot flush, um, but you actually get a lot of space because this is a rear bath. What's nice with this bathroom design is by having the Murphy bed, we put the bathroom back here, which gives you a lot more space. You have a very large shower with an antimicrobial shower door, but you also get a stainless steel um, shower nozzle. And it does have the hot and cold adjustments in there as well. And some extra headroom up top, so that way you can get a larger person inside there. Behind the um, mirror here, you are going to get a medicine cabinet for more storage and you get a stainless steel sink with hot and cold adjustments. And then underneath the sink is where your water filter is actually gonna be. So you can change your water filter very easily. And then your main GFI outlet is located right here as well. And that controls the entire motorhome. And also your third generation wine guard controls is located right here. It's this little black box with a red um, button on it. That's how you adjust your temperature for your water. You can adjust it to however you feel necessary. Um, and make it more comfortable for you inside the coach. So in the back area, you actually get a his and hers closet space. You get closet A and closet B. They both are double door. You got a hanger up top and you're gonna be able to hang your clothes very nice and efficiently. They do close nice and easy and you do get three drawers below each closet space. So that way you can store our, your other clothes nice and easy. Um, so his, hers, and then three drawers below each. So a lot of, a lot of closet space on a shorter 25 foot motorhome. In today's world, everyone is wanting to stay connected. So one thing we've done with our high-end sprinters is, is we have made the Weingart Connect 2.0 standard. Now what this is, is it has multiple features. It has a Weingart um, Wi-Fi booster, which is an extender. And it also has a 4G LTE hotspot. So what you can do is while you're at your campsite, if they got Wi-Fi in the main building, you can connect to their Wi-Fi up to a mile away. Or if you are driving, you want to pull off on the side of the road, connect to a McDonald's or a Starbucks, you can connect to their Wi-Fi. But if you don't want to do that, you want to do your own plan, you can download the WineGuard Connect app. You can scan the QR code that's located inside the dome on the roof or in your unit owner's manual. And you can scan that code, get your credit card out. It basically walks you through the setup process. There's a bunch of different subscription plans you can choose from, and you get different data, data plans based off what you need. So when you subscribe to a plan, you get on the go Wi-Fi so you can connect while you're traveling and it's also a secured connection. So you can connect your phone to that, your laptop, if you got an Apple TV, a Roku, Amazon Fire Stick, plug it into the TV, hook it up to that. You can stream very plain and simple while you're driving down the road. Very convenient with everybody working from home, doing e-learning from home. Um, so a lot, big, big feature to talk about. Um, something not to overlook. Now to go over your main controls of the motorhome. This right here is your multiplex control screen. This controls everything inside and outside of the motorhome. So your main home screen here will have all your lights master on and off. You can see the temperature inside the motorhome, your fresh gray black tank levels as well with your LP, which is your propane level. You can turn on your water pump, turn on your tank heaters. You can see your house and chassis battery levels. Also, you can turn on and off your generator right here. Um, if you have the LP generator, you can turn on right here. The diesel generator will have a separate console and we'll talk about that in a second. You can also turn on your AGS right here as well. Your second screen right here, this is your auto gen start. This turns on and off your generator based on three functions, time, temperature, and voltage. So this is all preset at the factory, so you don't need to adjust anything, but you do have, if there is a quiet time at the campsite, you can turn the generator off at 11 automatically and have it start back up at seven. If your generator falls below 12.5 volts, 
And if you want it to start back up at 14 volts, you can make all those adjustments right there. And same thing for temperature. If you don't want your coach to rise above 69 degrees, but you don't want your generator running all day, set it to the HVAC load. And if it ever rises above 69 degrees, you have temperature sensors throughout the motorhome that'll read the temperature and bring, turn on your generators, turning on your AC, cooling down the coach five degrees colder than the temperature you had it set at. Your third screen here is gonna be your lights. So you can turn all your lights on or off. You also have your cargo lights right there. Step well, front awning, exterior step. You can turn on all those lights right here. You can also do this from your smartphone. But another thing, if it has arrows on it, you can actually hold the button and dim the lights so that way it's not as bright inside the motorhome. Fourth screen, that's gonna be your climate controls. Now, with this setting, what you're gonna to wanna to do here is you have cool, you have your heat pump, you have your furnace, and you have your auto. So you can choose whichever one you want. So say today it's 90 degrees. You don't want to put it down to 50 degrees to try to cool it down nice and quick. The motorhome is only gonna cool down 15 degrees colder than the ambient temperature outside. So a few things to remember is you wanna cool down, take some precautions. Cool down the coach the night before, the morning of, as you're driving going to your campsite. Is if you do that, that way you don't run into the situation where you get to your campsite, it's noon, it's 100 degrees out, you're trying to cool down the motorhome because you're not going to cool it down in a timely fashion. So what I would do is in the morning, say 7 a.m., wake up, turn on your ACs, um, put it to 15 degrees below what the hottest point it's going to be in that day. So that way the AC will turn on and off as needed to cool down the motorhome because if you don't, what's going to happen is you're going to run that AC consistently to cool it down to whatever temperature you had it set at and it's not gonna cool it down in time, and the coils on the ACs are basically gonna freeze up, and then it's just gonna blow hot air, and you're gonna be miserable. So the proper precautions, putting down the shades, uh, eliminate how much you're opening the door in and out. Um, it's letting that hot air or the cold air escape will help in the long run. Also, below that, you're gonna have your slide controls. You can control your slides right here. You can also control your awning. One touch, it goes out. One touch, it goes in. Very convenient. Then your last page here is your settings. So right here is where you would actually connect to the mobile app. This is where you can see the Vega Touch Mirror app, and it just works by Bluetooth with your phone. So you probably get around 30 feet of distance that you can um, actually control the motorhome, but you can set a password or whatever you want so that way it's secured as well. But below this, this is gonna be your stereo controls for the stereo on the inside of the motorhome. This is gonna, um, a, you have your radio here. You can actually put in CDs. There's a lot of different functions. You can plug in a USB plug in some earphones, a lot of things you can do. But below this, so with your generator, you get two options. You can go with an LP option that comes standard, or you can upgrade to the diesel generator. The diesel generator uh, runs off the main fuel tank of the chassis itself. Um, but if you get the diesel generator, this is gonna be the main controls right here. That only comes with the diesel gen, LP will not have this. So to turn on the generator, you just press the red button, it'll tell you way to start, and then It'll say start it up, hit the green button, generator will start right up automatically and that generator is going to operate all the appliances in the motorhome, your ACs, your lights. It's also going to charge your batteries as well. Now right down in the entryway here we have a few things to go over. So you have your main power switch right here so that's going to turn on power from your house batteries. Now whenever you have that on um, that's also going to be charging your batteries. There's a few ways that your batteries are going to charge. Um, whenever you're running the generator, whenever you're plugged in, and also you have a 100 watt solar panel that comes standard from the factory. Whenever you have that on, you're gonna be getting power if it's a nice sunny day outside. Um, it's a 100 watt solar panel. Um, right here is the solar controller, it's the TAM solar controller. So that 100 watt solar panel that's mounted on the roof has 10 gauge wiring going down to this controller right here. And then this has 10 gauge wiring going from the controller down to your batteries. So that's gonna keep your batteries nice and charged. You get one 12 volt house battery and there's room for more batteries if needed. Um, now, if people want to add more solar in, you can always take this off at a 30 amp controller or whatever else you would want to do. Um, but we talked about how it has a 1000 watt inverter. Your 1000 watt pure sine wave inverter, the on off button is right here. So if you want those outlets in the bedroom to be hot, hit this button, those outlets will now be hot. Also, you can turn on or off your step right here. And then a big thing to point out, I talked about how we have the stabilizers that come standard, but you have the hydraulic leveling system as an option. Right here is actually how you control the leveling system. So one touch, turn it on, and then you just hit auto, and it's gonna automatically level the motorhome. Also, you have a manual button. So if you'd rather manually do it yourself, hold the manual button and go jack by jack to lower uh, the jacks and level the coach. And it'll actually tell you which areas need to be lower 
And then once it is level, it's gonna light up green and let you know that it is. And it'll always light up. Um, there's a jacks down light and it'll, if the jacks are down, it'll tell you. Um, and when you wanna retract the jacks, hit retract all jacks and they'll come right up automatically. So we just went through the 24FB, this here is the 24TT. So main differences between the floor plan you just saw and this floor plan is this is going to have a corner bath right here. So a corner bath, you're also going to have a flip up bed instead of the Murphy bed. So still a rear bed, nice walk around bed with hot outlets on the other side. So very, very similar. Um, when this is up, you get a nice seating area as well underneath this. And you do get a TV in the bedroom as well. Um, you get closet space right here, nice area to hang some clothes. And you do get three pull out drawers right there. And then going over, you got the dinette you're gonna see with the pop-up leg extensions there as well. And this does also fold down into another sleeping area with this one turn of a latch. But a big thing to see, you just saw the luxury gray cabinetry. This here is our Miami Modern. This is our lighter cabinetry. It's that techno form Italian made cabinetry. This is gonna give you another look to it. So it just changes up the interior feel a little bit on the inside. And you're also gonna have different decors um, around the windows and your bedspread as well. Going into the kitchen, you are gonna have the gas electric refrigerator, still the two gas burner, just a different, little smaller space, but you still get the glass uh, backsplash here as well as the backsplash up top, and then large space up top for more storage. So very nice layout, um, just gives you a different feel on the inside, inside going from the luxury grade and the Miami Modern, just so you get both looks there. If you would like to see sales prices from the only full line and fully authorized Thor Motor Coach dealership in the world, visit Motorhome Specialist at MHSRV.com or call 800 335 6054. Motorhome Specialist is the number one volume selling motorhome dealership in the world. With over $165 million in inventory to choose from, all at one central location making it easy to fly in from anywhere in the country and then drive your new dream motor coach home. You will also enjoy the premier delivery process that can only be found at MHSRV. From the extensive pre-check and make ready process to the only dealership performed and fully automated rain booth test in the industry, you'll see a world of difference at Motorhome Specialist. These additional detail and inspection processes are just a few of the countless steps taken here at Motorhome Specialist to help ensure that you not only receive a better selection and price, but also the unparalleled quality and service that you deserve to go along with it. So get busy living in an all new Thor Motor Coach from Motorhome Specialist today. Why pay more? Why settle for less?